Baby, hmm? as partial owner of this lab, I'm entitled to the details of every case that comes our way. As your mother, I am entitled to your honesty. Wow, that's like a very sick passive aggressive burn. And I, yep, pretty much. And that was a clip from Fox TV's second season of Rosewood, the police procedural drama set in Miami and starring actress Lorraine Toussaint as Donna Rosewood. And Lorraine joins us now to talk about this role and her many, many others. Welcome, Lorraine, it's so great to have you here. Thank you. Tell us about Rosewood, if you would, first, and your character, Donna Rosewood. She's the mother of mm -hmm. the main character, correct? Yeah. And the matriarch of the Rosewood yes. family. It's procedural slash family drama on Fox. We air tonight, which is really lovely. We're in our second season, so we're doing well. Um, we've got a body every week, a very interesting case, you know, as most procedurals. These are actually a bit more interesting uh, because our lead character, played by Morris Chestnut, he is, uh, he has so many things that are physically wrong with him. He's always, he has been on the verge of dying for many, many, many years. He's sort of outrunning death. Yeah. And so consequently, he tends to live in a very particular way. And so he has a particular purview into death. So as a personal Emmy, he tends to see things that most uh, Emmys don't see. So we've got a private, family-run business that's run by the Rosewoods. And so as the matriarch of this family, actually in the second season where we are now, I've now become an investor in the business. So Fabulous. it's one thing to have your mother hanging around because she's <laughs> retired and she doesn't know what to do with her life. Now she's actually become an investor <laughs> in the business and I have a right to a say in this business. Wow, that sounds like a great drama right there. Exactly. Now, of course, you've been in many, many TV series before. Do you enjoy the long form TV series as I do. Yeah. I love hour long. It's it's hard work. You know, most people don't realize, you know, we often work 15 to 17 hours a day. You know, it looks easy, but these are hardworking folks. Um, but it's nice to have a home. Yes. Uh, as an actor, you want to have a home where you can you can be and leave and come back. And so it's, I, and you enjoy it. this is a lovely home because everyone is just so good and so lovely. Now everyone loves you and remembers you as V in yeah. Orange is the New Black. I don't know if they loved me. Well, they, they, loved, loved they hate love to me. hate me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and you, you know, you got so much critical acclaim for this role, won awards. Do you enjoy playing villains? That was the first real, I've, that's the first real villain I've ever played. Yeah, I usually pay people large and in charge, head of the CIA, head of the, the hospital, I'm the police captain, uh, you know, um, the DA. I've always been on the other side of the law. That, that was my first venture into the other side. It was fun. Was it fun? Mm. Does it tap into that side that we all have, but we just kind of oh, keep yeah. buried? It taps into that shadow self. Yeah. You just <laughs> let that fly for a minute. Um, most days I didn't actually know what V was going to do. Which is exciting. It was really exciting. And now, Creatively, you, it was very exciting. I'm sure. Now, were you sad when the character died? Sad isn't quite the word, you know? She kind of had to die. You know what I mean? I just uh, <laughs> boxed no... myself into a corner <laughs> there. There were a lot of ways to go. You don't really want to know this woman is running around loose. Yes, yes. You know? I hear you. So, now, you've also, of course, been on the big screen recently in Selma with Ava DuVarnay. Yes. You've worked with her quite frequently. Tell us about that experience on Selma. Selma's lovely. Um, Ava, particularly, is, is one of my favorite directors. She's a smart, savvy, creative, passionate woman. Uh, great to be around and uh, very collaborative creatively. And so um, I'd say one of my favorite working experiences has been with Ava. Uh, so. You know, it's, I'm, I'm sort of in the indie world these days, which is a really exciting place to be uh, doing work right, right now. And of course, like I said, you've been to so many TV shows, Crossing Jordan, Saving Grace, mm. Friday Night Lights. Do any of those jump out at you as favorites? Any day now. Yeah. Was the favorite. Yeah. Um, we sort of put lifetime uh, mm -hmm. late night programming on the map, and that was we really forged new words, roads with that show. And Annie Potts and I, my my good pal. That's true. That was a really fun. And the issues, you know, the issues we dealt with were race. And for four years, we really went at the issues of race in a way that I don't think any television show has done yet. So that 
we felt like we were making a difference too. You, you were sort of in the vanguard there. Yes, we were. Now you were raised in Trinidad and Tobago, is that Tobago, right? Yes. Tobago, and then you moved to New York. Did you attend the Fame School for high I school? I did. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yes. Such a long time ago, I went to the Fame School, and yes. you know the Fame movie really was a lot like that. We really did dance in the hallways. Lunch. We, really, <laughs> we really did do a great deal Amazing. of that, which was. Uh, so you knew you wanted to be an actress from a relatively young age, then. I was eleven. Eleven when you made that decision, amazing. I, yeah. I haven't done anything else. Isn't that extraordinary that I've actually never done anything else? Well, because you're so talented at it. Then you went on to Juilliard after the fame school. I and did. you, of course, have done a lot of stage work as well. Do you miss the stage? You know, whenever I'm in New York, I miss the stage. Mm -hmm. And it's about time. I'm due. You're due to go I'm back due. to the stage. Yeah, yeah. What, so. else, what else is ahead for you? The stage? And what else can we look forward to seeing you in? Gosh, I'm about to start. Uh, well, of course, Rosewood. We're yes. coming to a season finale soon in the next two episodes. And once that's done, I'm going on to do a wonderful film uh, called um, Fast Color, directed by Julia Hart with Gugu Mbatha Ray. Fantastic. I play her mom, and that's it's a very exciting script. Fantastic. So, and you are cool. wearing red in honor um, of the Macy's Wear Red that you were on the red carpet last night. Tell I, us about that. I was on the runway. On the last runway. Night. There you oh are, looking God. fierce. Look at you. <laughs> you know, I just, it was wonderful because I just didn't know enough to be nervous. Right. And so I thought, why not have fun? Uh, it was for such a great cause, the American Heart Association, for to bring information to women and to make us more aware of this this awful disease that is the number one killer and we're just still so uninformed thank you for helping bring attention to it and thank you for coming to see us today Lorraine. thank you